Hello, welcome to Rocky Biochem series. In today's video, I will introduce you to molecular genetics. Please, if this is your first time of visiting my channel, kindly do well to subscribe for me. And also, if you are a return viewer who have not subscribed yet, kindly do well to also subscribe as well. Thank you very much as you are doing so. Have you ever asked yourself these questions before? Why do children resemble their parents? How can various diseases run in families? Worry no more because genetics has answers to these questions. Genetics as a field of study was first introduced by an Augustinian monk called Gregor Johann Mendel in the year 1860. Gregor was one of the first to apply an experimental approach to the question of inheritance. So for seven years, Mendel bred pea plants and then recorded inheritance patterns in the offspring. So he made up some hypotheses from his studies. According to Mendel, parents pass on to their offspring separate and then distinct factors that are responsible for inherited traits from them. So those factors that are passed on from the parents to offspring is what we presently call them genes. So we can define genetics as the study of the rules governing gene transmission under three levels. The study of rules governing gene transmission under three levels. So we are going to consider the three levels under which the gene transmissions are considered. So the first level is that the first level is the transmission of genetic information from parents to offspring within families. We are going to consider the first level as transmission of genetic information from parents to offspring within families. So sometimes a parent might be having a trait like tallness or a skin color of fairness and they will be able to pass them on to their children. So we call the study of genetics under this level as transmission genetics. That is the study of transfer of genetic information from parent to offspring within families and also the next level that is considered is the transmission over many generations within populations of organisms so let me use horses as an example the ancient day horse used to be small but the present day horse is far 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 bigger than the Asian day horse and this is because some genetic information was passed on over many generations and that is why there is some differences between the current horse that is the modern day horse and then the Asian day horse so we call the study of genetics under this level as population evolutionary genetics now let's move on to the last level that is of our interest when it comes to this particular video so we call this level the molecular genetics we call this level as molecular genetics so under mole in molecular genetics we study the transfer of genetic information from dna to gene action within and then between cells so in molecular genetics you will study genes and then the ways in which their rna and protein products work together to make cells and then organisms so by understanding genetic information at a molecular level you will be able to learn how normal organisms develop and then function and how genetic changes lead to certain disease so studies in molecular genetics provide foundation for new developments like gene therapy rna based vaccines and then personalized medicines so by taking a course like molecular genetics you will be able to investigate and then synthesize diverse fields including genetics biochemistry evolution chemistry and then genomics in molecular genetics the main focus is at the molecular level so we will learn more about nucleic acids so nucleic acids are just biomolecules that serve as carrier of genetic information so those genetic information that we transmit from dna to gene action we call them nucleic acids so there are two forms of nucleic acids we have the deoxyribonucleic acid and then the ribonucleic acid so dna that's the deoxyribonucleic acid differs from rna in the sense that dna is made up of deoxyribose sugar whereas rna has a ribose sugar a deoxyribose sugar is just like a ribose sugar just that the position two 
is having the hydroxyl group being removed. In molecular genetics, the studies will be centered on the central dogma of molecular genetics. We will learn more about the central dogma of molecular genetics. So when you talk about central dogma of molecular genetics, it is not anything difficult or anything complex. It's just a matter of, I mean, understanding how genetic information are passed from DNA all the way to gene action. So for the central dogma of molecular genetics, it starts from DNA and then DNA undergoes transcription to give us RNA and then the information in RNA will be translated into proteins. So starting from DNA, then by means of transcription, we can get RNA or we will get RNA and then RNA will undergo translation to give us protein. So just understand that we pass on information from DNA to RNA and then protein. Although when you go forward, you understand that certain genes are expressed only in the form of RNA and they don't need to be translated into proteins. So kindly do well to subscribe to my channel and then follow my subsequent videos about the field of molecular genetics. Thank you very much as you are doing so. See you next time.